You should never pay capital gain tax when you sell a real estate property. Here are three reasons why. Reason number one, if it is a primary residence and you've lived in it for two out of the last five years, you get a personal capital gain exclusion. If you're married, it's $500,000. If you're single, it's $250,000. So either $250,000 of that capital gain or $500,000 of that capital gain is completely excluded from your tax return when you sell that property as long as you've been in it for two out of the last five years. Reason number two, you can 1031 exchange your investment property, so not your primary residence, but your investment property. You can 1031 exchange it, meaning you do a tax-free transfer into a new property of equal or greater than value, which pushes the taxes down the road into that new property. Now, a lot of people always ask me, but I want the, I want the cash out of the property so I can go buy more properties or something like that. There, are, You can do cash out refinances, and when you pull debt out, or when you pull cash out of a property, through debt, you do not pay tax on pulling that money out. So if you have a $500,000 property and you have a $300,000 worth of equity in it, you can pull a lot of that cash out, not pay tax on it, and go buy more, re more real estate properties with that cash and build a massive portfolio really quick. And the best part about it is when you die, you pass those properties to your kids or to your heirs and they can sell it the next day after you die and they don't pay a single penny in taxes because they get a stepped up basis to the fair market value at the day of your death. Okay, Never pay taxes on your real estate.